day four of the Otter hiking trail. Today will be the toughest part of the trail as we have Blokrans River to cross. But getting there will be a lot of uphill and downhill sections. In total, we will be walking 13.8 kilometers from Oakhurst Hut to Andres Hut. Boulder hopping this morning. I'm glad we're doing it in some kind of a daylight. Would have been very difficult in the dark. Oh, it's nice and cool. It's nice and cool. All right, let's go. I was in the dark against it all, but made it do the day because I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay because I found my way. Absolutely fantastic view. And then the Titicama forests. Stunning, natural, beautiful forests surrounded by fine boss. Phenomenal creation that we live in.
approaching the Blokrans river mouth. Now, by the looks of it, we might not have to swim. It seems like we've hit the low tide right on the mark and it won't be dry feet, but at least we don't have to swim. Ah. For future hikers, when you do not time your day correctly and you do find the Blokrans River too deep to cross, you have the option of an escape route. This entails contacting the ranger who will pick you up at the end of the escape route and drop you off plus minus 30 minutes walk starting above Andrei Zad. Escape route number six. Shall we take this one? No. No, we've came this far. We've got low tide. Woke up early this morning and we're ready to face it. Last stretch of day four. And this is the crossing of the Blokrans for us. <laughs> Some people are ecstatic that she doesn't have to swim. But she doesn't see what I see. A little bit of water in front. But so far, only our soles are wet. Everybody's having breakfast. Oh, we haven't had anything to eat yet. Hungry. We waited for the rest of the group to cross the river before we started the last section to Andre's hut. And right on top there is the Blokrans Bridge. Never seen it from this angle before. That's our breakfast spot. And that's the sea waiting to claim back the river again. Tough up, tough down. And 3.8 kilometers from here is the last hut called Andre's Hut. The beauty of nature here is absolutely stunning. Nothing compares. Make no mistake, the otter is not an easy trail. Day four is tough. The constant up and down of the trail wears you out. You have to have a certain level of fitness to complete this trail.
beauty of this trail is absolutely something to behold. It really is stunning. Nearing the end of day four, Andre's hut is apparently something like six or eight hundred meters ahead of us. It's been a long day. Started hiking at five o'clock this morning, ten to five actually. Try and catch the blow crumbs when they're at low tide. Worked beautifully. For now, let's get to Andre's hut. Arriving at Andre's hut is a real relief. Enjoying the rest after such a long day and soaking up the view makes it all worth it. This must be the loo with the best view in the world. Thank you. 